Hi everybody, Ambassador Mark Matthews here with a brand new mountain biking 101 lesson for you. In this video, I'm gonna go over the basics of body position, that foundational set of techniques that you need to learn to become a really good advanced mountain biker. And honestly, once you figure out these body position techniques and they start to feel natural, it's gonna unlock so many opportunities for becoming a more advanced mountain biker. I hope you find this lesson really helpful. Let's jump right into it. Now that you've had the chance to get out there on the trails, get familiar with your bike and play around, it's time to learn the foundational skills that every single thing you do from here on out is gonna build off of. So we're gonna start off with body position and I'm gonna break it down into three parts to make it really simple. First, we'll have the neutral position, then we'll have the climbing position, and then from there, we'll go into descending position. All three of these positions are essentially the same position, just shifted based on the scenario that you're in on the trail. So let's jump right into neutral position and go from there. The first thing to think about when you want proper body position on your bike is get in that aggressive mode and attack the trail. So imagine someone's coming up to you and they're about to tackle you. How are you gonna brace yourself? You're gonna bend your knees, you're gonna bend your elbows and you're gonna get ready. You're gonna get a nice solid grounding and that's exactly what you wanna do on your bike. You want that really solid foundation on the bike. Just from head to toe, let's take a look at how this will go down. We start off with nice pointed elbows that are bent outwards and we have lots of room for moving around. So imagine you're almost doing push-ups off your handlebars. With your legs, it's a very similar feeling, but you're doing like squats. So you're coming off and you're allowing your body to move around on the pedals, but you're keeping a nice, strong, solid grounding on the pedals with the heels dropped, and you're just in like a really nice, solid foundation. You have nice, solid grip, nice, solid footing, but you have room for movement. Allow space for your knees and elbows to move freely. Stay fluid. Remember, mountain biking is full of surprises and you need to react quickly to what's in front of you. Get in attack mode. Let the heels drop, knees bend, and point those elbows out. Keep on practicing until this begins to feel more natural. It's important to note that your elbows and your knees are working as the suspension on your bike and you're not depending on just your bike suspension because not all of you are gonna start off with a full suspension or even a hardtail. You might be on a completely rigid bike, but you still want to ride through stuff smoothly. So it's really important to use your body as the control for everything. Let's take the neutral position and apply it to some real life scenarios. So when you're in a downhill setting like this and you're about to roll down a hill, one big mistake a lot of beginners make is they keep the same neutral position. They stay really strong on the front end. They're right, right over the bars here. They, they'll hit a rock or a little obstacle and their weight's just gonna to be too far forward and they're gonna get stuck and caught up and go over the bars. So in order to avoid that, you have to really think about what your lower body's doing. You wanna make sure your heels are nice and dropped, which is gonna bring all your body weight into the back tire. And then you wanna get your butt further back than usual. So you're swinging your body weight to the back side of the bike. While you're doing that, you wanna extend your arms out a little bit. So there's no possible way you can fly over the front end. And that's what I would call the downhill position, just because you're ready and you're braced for any aggressive downhill scenarios. So let's take a look at what that looks like. As you approach the top of the hill, swing your hips and your butt towards the rear wheel. Extend your arms and allow your weight to fall into the back of the bike. You'll notice the seat is dropped all the way down. It should never be up unless you're climbing. It's time for our least favorite part of the ride, getting back up the hill. Now, a lot of beginners make the same mistake of going up and hammering, mindlessly thinking about what they're doing and spinning out their back tire, losing balance, maybe even having dumb little crashes on the way up. So in order to avoid this, it's having that fine balance of leaning over the front end, staying aggressive, hammering, yet keeping a bit of weight on your back tire so you have all that traction going back up the hill. A little trick I used to do that, since you can't really drop your heels up a hill, is use the ball of your foot to push into the pedals harder than usual and just imagine like your feet are obviously what's powering you up the hill. So use them to really push you into the hill, although your upper body's lean forward. And here's what that looks like. Shift your upper body weight to the front end of the bike, get into attack mode with your arms and push force into the back wheel with each pedal stroke. This will help you sustain traction on the way up. What's cool about mountain biking is every skill builds off the next. It's a constant progression whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced. Now that we've learned these body position skills, let's see how that technique can be translated into a way more advanced style of riding. Watching someone ride dirt jumps will give you a very dramatic example of how body position changes. 
Jumping into a steep transition requires the same type of movement as riding down a hill. Notice how my butt is back behind the seat to keep my body weight back. My arms are extended, which allows me to open up right before hitting the landing. Once I touch down, my body acts as suspension and compresses. I remain compressed, so I have room to open up and shift my weight forward as I ride up to take off. These are more advanced techniques that all stem from the basic body position movements. When you first start learning how to ride a bike, it's super exciting, all the new skills you learn. You just want to get out there, explore and have fun. But if you really want to progress really, really fast and become an expert rider, it's pretty important to take the time to practice and work on drills. Find challenging technical features to ride over. Make sure you're coming into the features at a quick pace. Faster is smoother. And you can focus on staying in the neutral position without taking any pedal strokes. Remember to stay fluid and allow yourself to freely move. Don't sit down, pedal, or go rigid. You'll have limited control and you could even crash. <laughs> Work on subtle shifts between the three positions. Ideally, you want to find a set of rollers or some rolling features on a trail that you can practice on. Practice picking up the pace of shifting your weight. Once you feel strong at this, you'll be ready to jump into the next lesson that covers pumping techniques.